here we go. Let's empty out this bag of brooches. And we're going to go through these, and we're also going to go through these, and let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Bolo Buddies, thank you so much for being here. We are going to start with this bag of brooches, and it's a pretty nice lot. Um, I found some really nice things in here. This is from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, the 344 pounds of jewelry that I purchased. So um, she had things divided up into groups, and these are the brooches. So we're just going to kind of look through these together. And uh, this one's really cool. It's called a micro mosaic. And I ended up finding four of these and two were marked Italy on the back. And I did put these in a lot and they are listed in my store. This is a cute little flower. I have several of the um, gold tone flowers. I may end up doing a small lot of those also. I have to do a little more research so some of these items, I recorded this video a while ago, some of these items are listed and some of them I'm still working on. There's another gold flower. And there's a lot of really, really cute items in here. Um, a lot of them I'll sell individually, but I will probably cross post them to all three platforms and maybe put some of them on Etsy also. This one is really neat, but it did have some damage on it when I looked at it the other night. So um, that's kind of a bummer. So I just kind of look through everything and kind of show you guys what I got. And there's a lot of vintage items in here for sure. It's a great lot. I'll definitely, definitely make some money. Um, that one, I don't know if it's vintage or not. And that's the thing, I need to get better at knowing if something's vintage. And in the jewelry world, really what do people consider to be vintage? There's another one of those, I think it's called micro mosaic uh, pins. And I find two more. So I have this bag that I emptied out and then I have another um, pile that I'm gonna show you guys also. This one's a little basket, and I've got a couple of those, so I'm thinking I might lot those together. But lots of pretty, pretty stuff. And, you know, I actually, there's the other basket. I actually sold a pin for, I want to, I can't remember. It's in my um, what sold video, but I cannot remember what it sold for. It was maybe $65 or $75. I could not believe it because I didn't think that people really, um, wear brooches like they used to, but I'm finding out that brooches do sell, so I'm pretty excited about some of these. Let's see, I'm trying to, that one's pretty cool. Some of these have, um, some markings on the back. I can't remember if that's one or not. Yeah, it is because, um, I'm looking at it right now. I can't remember what it says, but I looked it up. Comps were decent, um, so I will probably list... Oops, I thought that I had it up to the camera. I'm still learning how to do this. But anyhow, um, the last video that I did, um, I had the camera at a different angle, and I think I actually liked it better. There's another one of the micro mosaic. I hope I'm saying that right. But they're really cool. Really cool little brooches and they had really good comps so I've got that one priced kind of high and if you guys are new to the channel this is not my typical um, bolo video I typically share items to be on the lookout for items um, that you can buy low and sell high but I bought this huge um, lot of jewelry off of eBay from a gal and if you want to know the whole story you can um check out that uh, video playlist and you'll see where I went to pick it up and where I weighed everything and it 
weighed 344 pounds. So I decided to start a Monday series where I'm unboxing the items and I'm getting ready to do a um, what sold from my bulk buy so far. So that will either be coming soon or by the time this video posts, it may have already posted. So definitely go look for that and you can see what I've sold so far. And I think I've almost got enough for another video. So I'm pretty excited about that. So the jewelry is definitely doing well. I have definitely found some bolos in this lot, which is super exciting. And I'm learning a lot. Um, I have a whole series where I unbox gemstones from this buy. I call it my bulk buy because 344 pounds is definitely a bulk buy. But um, Moonstone Mamas comes on with me and she has a YouTube channel called Moonstone Mamas and she helped me identify gemstones. So if you guys are interested in learning what different stones look like, looks like, um, we actually unbox it together and I hold them up and she helps me identify them. So it's a really fantastic way to learn. So definitely go check out those videos. They're on my Monday playlist also. I think the playlist is called, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay or something like that. I can't believe I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. So I, nope, that's not the one I listed. It's coming soon here. That one I didn't seem real fancy. It was kind of lightweight, but lots of flowers, lots of flowers for sure. And, nope, I see it laying there. Really cute pens. I mean, I don't wear pens, so I don't really understand it. This is um, Ann Taylor, and it still has the tag. I think it's probably vintage, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if anybody knows, is that an older tag? But I do have this one listed in my store. And I priced it at $40 or best offer just because I figure, you know, I can come down and it's really, really big and really, really cool. So we'll see what happens. Um, I might be a little high or maybe I'm low. I don't know. So still learning here. So if you guys um, go down to the description of the video, I do have a link to my eBay store. Oh, this piece is fantastic. So it's clip on earrings and a matching pin. And it is beautiful and it is listed in my store. They are fantastic. Um, I can't remember what brand it is, but um, I do have this listed. So what I was saying is, is down in the description of the video, I have a link to my eBay store and I have a link that will take you to all of my items. But I also have a link that says a uh, link to my bulk buy jewelry. I think it's called BB1 or something like that or Jewelry BB is the category I used on eBay. That's what it is, Jewelry BB. So if you wanna see what I sold, or what I have listed right now, I got sidetracked by that pin. I'm gonna tell you guys about it in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna tell you about it now and then I'll come back to that. This pin has great comps and it is listed. Um, there's some other ones listed, so I'm gonna hold out and wait till those sell and hope to make a, make a good uh, profit on this one <laughs> and I haven't listed this one yet. So anyway, uh, if you want to check out my jewelry, bulk buy jewelry, what I have listed, I think I have about 130 items up. By the time this posts, I hope to have more, but um, definitely just working my way through it. I'm trying to list items you know, in different categories daily so that I'm not just listing jewelry. I'm not just listing clothing. I'm not just listing hard goods. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get away from clothing, but I still have so much to do. So I'm trying to throw that in there. There's another one of those little pins. Yeah. So um, what I also wanted to tell you guys, if you see something you like and you want to make an offer, please make an offer. And when you make the offer, please put in the notes, Bolo Buddies, so that I know that you're subscribed to my channel and that you watch my videos and I know it's you. And then when I do a what sold video, I can say either a subscriber bought this or I can say um, your name if you want me to, but you have to request that. So 
you know what? That kind of looks like a pair of earrings I listed. Huh. Who knows? It could be because I have earrings. I have, I have so much jewelry to go through. That one's kind of a neat piece. I'm definitely going to list that one separate, and I'm pretty sure it's vintage. So a very, very cool. And I have sold quite a bit of jewelry to subscribers, actually. Um, I just had a gal purchase a huge lot off of me. I think it was 16 pounds or maybe it was 18 pounds off of Mercari. And I had another subscriber buy some jewelry off of Mercari because I lotted a lot of it up on Mercari to sell because I don't have time to list it all. I did list that little pin that's on the, I think it was Harry Potter. I did list that. It's just a bread and butter item, but you know, I like having bread and butter in my store because it all adds up. And you know, jewelry, even if it's not signed, if it's pretty, people will still buy it. I just sold a pair of cowbell earrings, <laughs> like right before I started the video. So it's fresh in my mind. And it's definitely a bread and butter item. It sold on Poshmark. I think um, after it's all said and done, I'm going to get $10.05, which is fantastic. Um, those did not come from the bulk buy. Those came from a garage sale or something over the summer. Um, I pick jewelry up whenever I can just because it's fun, but um, I'm not real good at it. This is really cute. I, I need to look into this one. I tried looking it up. I didn't have much luck finding the same one. So if anybody knows anything about that, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys see something in the video that um, you know something about, you can um, timestamp it and then I can find it. Because sometimes when you describe it, it's hard for me to find. So if you timestamp it, that really helps. So yeah, really tons of brooches. I mean, gosh, there's probably over a hundred here, I would think. I did list the sailboat. It's super cute. It's enamel, um, really nice piece. It's pretty big. So the sailboat is listed. I can't remember what I listed it for. You guys, I typically list high because on Poshmark and Mercari, you do price drops. And then on eBay, I accept best offers. So please, again, if you go to my store and you see something you're interested in, don't be afraid to make me an offer. I will not be offended. If the offer is too low, then I'll just counter offer. And more than likely, I'm, I accept most offers, but most people send me reasonable offers. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's military or what. So I need to look that up. It's the three stars. I did list this little guy. He's Avon and he's a little scarecrow. And he, there were some solds. So it's a bread and butter item, but I, I thought it was cute enough to list. <laughs> Let me see if I can hold this in my hand. So silly. I don't know, lots of neat pieces for sure, but lots of, um, lots of work, <laughs> lots of work ahead of me. And I'm hoping that, um, oh, that one's cute. I have um, a small ring light that I've been using for like the brooches and the earrings and the small items. And I've been trying to get a big light box for um, the necklaces and stuff. And I'm having a little bit of a hard time with that right now. So um, the first one came broken. The second one, they shipped me the wrong item and it had lights that you had to like set up and put on the side. I'm like, look, I just want the one that you unfold that the lights are already in it. You just plug it in and list. Like, I don't want to have to set up like four sets of lights every time I get the light box out. So yeah, I've had to return two large light boxes so far. So the next one is on its way. I did list this cute little owl. It is up in my store. Super cute. And if you see something you like that's not listed, feel free to um, message me either in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is linked down in the description, or you can put a comment in the video and I can list it and I can let you know in the comments. I can reply to your comment, hey, I got that listed now and I can provide you a link. So just because it's not listed doesn't mean that I can't find it and list it for you because I am gonna be listing jewelry for who knows how long. 
It is quite a process for sure, but I'm really enjoying it more than I thought I would. I don't know. Is that like a P? Definitely more than I thought I would. I really, um, I'm learning how to like uh, filter the background so that it looks like really white and really makes the jewelry pop. So I'm pretty excited about that. That was one of the things that I did not like about listing jewelry is that I had such a hard time getting um, nice photos. And I think, you know, I can get away with that more with clothing. But when it comes to jewelry, I think it really helps sell the item when the photos look good. I have this listed. I'm not sure what those initials are, but um, I listed it, but I can't figure it out. It was signed, I can't remember what it said on the back. It said something on the back. It's in the listing uh, description. That looks like a face with a hat. There's one really cool piece, I see it. Um, it's coming up and I kind of want you guys' opinion on it. Um, I'll tell you when we get to it, but I don't know how to research it and it's a really cool piece and I'm not even sure if I really I'm going to give you guys a good shot of it. I can't remember, so we will see here. Here it is. Okay, so that's the back. Oh, you can't really see it. Maybe I'll get it closer. Come on. No, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible. Okay, there we go. Look, it's got like little... Are they people? I don't know what they are. Maybe you guys can go back and pause it. <laughs> it's really interesting. And like... The metals, I don't know what they're made of. Is And that says Barbie, but I think it's Avon. But it'll be a good bread and butter item, I think. I'm definitely going to list that separate, the Barbie pin. Bread and butter. That's really shiny. <laughs> Very shimmery and shiny. It's got a lot of sparkle. So yeah, lots of cute stuff. I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. And please comment below with any questions or tips or tricks. Anything you may know that can help me on my um, jewelry unboxing videos because I am definitely learning. The last ones, I, I did like three the other day. I did the signed pieces and I actually talked to you guys as I unbox them. So you guys will have to let me know if you like the voiceover or if you like it when I talk while I'm actually doing the unboxing. I'm just trying um, out a lot of different things. Every video will be a little bit different. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.